First question is from H&S Mama Snai. What is contralateral training and who does it benefit? Oh, contralateral mm-hmm. training. So this would be, and correct me if I'm wrong, fellas, but essentially you are tr- you're like a, a built Bulgarian split stat squat or a lunge would be considered contralateral. Opposite arm, opposite leg direction. Like, yeah. Like so, walking. Walking so is contralateral. like a bird dog. Uh, yeah. Basically, like we're working like from one side to the other. Yeah. And essentially one side is working one set of muscle groups with one a recruitment pattern. The other side is working what would be considered maybe opposing mm-hmm. muscle groups uh, or opposing recruitment patterns. Why does this benefit people? Well, because we do a lot of things this way in real life. Uh, every time you take a step, every time you step up something or you grab something, very rarely is your whole body moving together the same way. You know, your arm swings forward, the other one tends to swing back. You step forward, one leg tends to be behind. And so it strengthens these kind of functional patterns. I also like this kind of training because it tends to highlight imbalances mm-hmm. in me. So like if I did a lunge, I always I can tend to see uh, or feel one side being better in one position than the other. For example, my right leg forward might feel stronger, more stable than when my left leg is forward. And that can tell me a lot about areas I need to focus on. Yeah. I like using like crawling patterns uh, for this a lot. And I know it's it, not a lot of trainers utilize crawling patterns or like even get into these types of positions with bird dog and these types of things, but it's information. It's really like helpful information for me to see where the disconnect is, especially when there's a problem with, uh, you, you know, something with their walking, running, like anything with their gait, uh, being able to stabilize properly and also have that uh, communication uh, firmly established from right to left, left to right. Uh, is definitely beneficial when you get into functional movement. Well, I was going to say, contralateral training is extremely functional. Mm-hmm. It's uh, we crawl, we walk, we throw. Um, you you swing something. You t- yep. I mean, all these. It, it requires you to be able to do that for one side to communicate to the other side, and it also has a anti-rotational and rotational component to it many times. So. Mm-hmm. The, the functionality of training this way, I think, is extremely important for, you know, potential, you know, in, injury prevention, for just being better at everything that we do. So I always, so bird dogs were like a, a staple movement. Like I didn't do crawling patterns as much as a trainer. I didn't, I didn't get into like animal flow type stuff till later on or even curious about that stuff. But I see the value of it now. So like when I see somebody who does train that or teach clients that, I think it's got tremendous value to show people how to do that, um, but it belongs in it somewhat belongs in every routine, right? It, I think, and there's examples that a walking lunge would be that also, right? Yeah. So there's there's more basic exercises that people are familiar with uh, that are are already in your routine. Yeah, yeah, I think too. I mean, like people don't really consider coordination as much, and, and I know we want to build and develop our muscles, and we want to lose body fat and all that kind of stuff, but. You know, there's a lot of value with having like full control over your body and getting it to do what you want to do on command. And, you know, that requires a lot of this dexterity and, you know, like uh, coordination. And so to be able to kind of focus on that for a bit, like even if it's just in the very beginning when you're training somebody new, like how to better understand their body and like they didn't really you know, uh, they weren't exposed to that, like when they were younger or whatever, and we could still reestablish that. I think it's very valuable. Yeah. And especially if it, if it corrects imbalances or movement pattern issues in you, then it's going to help you develop a more aesthetic physique. You know, a lot of people, when we think of aesthetics, we tend to think about what bodybuilders will consider aesthetic or what magazine covers will consider aesthetic, but really the, the root of good aesthetics, at least real life good aesthetics comes from balance, right? It comes from the fact that I'm moving with good balance. Um, my muscles balance each other out. One area isn't overpowering another area. And so this kind of training, besides making you move better, can actually contribute to having a physique that looks more aesthetic and balanced. And here's a good example of the opposite of that, right? We all know the, the, the muscularly developed individual that doesn't seem very aesthetic. Although they have big muscles, they move around and they seem muscle bound or clumsy, and so it reduces the aesthetic appeal of this person. Um, uh, Maps Performance is one of our programs where you'll find contralateral type training. You'll find uh, this kind of functional based training, whose side effect oftentimes is an improvement in aesthetics. In fact, a lot of the like the gym focused people who've gotten a program like Maps Performance will comment and say, "I, I expected to move better. I did not expect to look better." 
But now that I move better, my body's starting to look better. It's because it's, it does a good job of identifying some of those weaknesses um, and imbalances in the body. You know, speaking of, a, of an uh, activity like bird dog, bird dog isn't some great muscle building exercise, but could it contribute to exercises that are better at muscle building and make them more effective? Absolutely. That's the way you got to look at some of these exercises. Yes, there are exercises that are just the best, you know, muscle building, strength building exercises, but are there other movements that can unlock the potential of those exercises and make them more effective? Because it really doesn't matter if the squat is a phenomenal muscle building exercise. If your body is incapable of unlocking the, the full potential of a squat. Now, it doesn't matter that a squat is a great exercise. For you, it's not mm -hmm. because you have problems with movement. Contralateral training is one tool in the tool belt that helps unlock. It's part of that mobility uh, application. It's part of mobility. It's part of uh, improving activation of muscles. It's part of getting you to move better. And when you move better, you can train better. And when you train better, you look a lot better.